Welcome to my channel. My name is Cindy Carrera and I am 25 years old. Um, obviously this is my first video and if I'm looking down it's because I have my notes right here. I don't have really good eyesight right now. Anyway, this is just a video so you can get to know me a little more. A little Q&A. Hopefully you stick around to the end. Obviously my channel is Dear Cindy Carrera and the reason why I chose that name is because I've actually been on a break from social media for about a half a year. But before that, my name on Instagram and Snapchat was like Dear Cindy and I really just wanted my name but that was taken. So I am from Houston, Texas. I was born and raised there. I haven't lived there since 2015 to join the military life. And yeah, I've been gone since then. I go visit. It's been a while since I've been there though. So I am Mexican-American. My family's from Mexico. My dad's from Guadalajara. And my mom is from Guerrero. I was born here in Houston. Um, I'm actually currently in New York. I live here right now. And I do speak Spanish and English. I'm fluent in both, but honestly, I'm really bad at both. I get tangled up. That's something I've always wanted to work on and I don't. So I am married and I have a daughter and I am actually pregnant and I have a little one on the way. And I have two fur babies. I have an Australian Shepherd mix and his name is Rio. And then I also have a toy poodle and his name is Bud. Um, we, we picked out those names because there were three letters each. Whoa. My husband already owned Rio before I even met him, but then when I was picking out Bud's name, I was like, I really wanted to go like, hey, that's Rio and Bud, you know, like two little pals. They love each other though. I'm so, so happy how, how much they love each other. So my husband's name is Washington and we've been married for a little over a year and my daughter is a year old. Bud is two years old and Rio, or he's about to be two years old, and Rio is, he's four years old. So why did I start a YouTube channel? I've actually really wanted to start a YouTube channel for a long time now. I just never really did it. And I love how much watching YouTube inspires me. Like watching these other moms just talk about the things that they do or just helping their, their children out or DIY stuff like I love DIY I've always loved that since I was a young girl and I have still still deep in my heart so I wanted to start one because well I am a stay-at-home mom since I was pregnant with my first daughter and I just wanted to share things that I could do or hopefully inspire others with what I can do at home uh, being a stay-at-home mom I've always wanted to do it it's it's a goal of mine I guess you can say for a very very long time it's just something i've always wanted to just go ahead and do it and my husband was just like yeah you you'll be really good at that stuff i don't know if that's true we'll see i'll let you know guys or you'll you'll let me know i guess so what would my channel be about i want to give you tips inspire you to do things as well so for example i did my entire daughter's room being inspired by pinterest and I thought it was really neat because I've always had the dream of creating a nursery. I never had a nursery and I don't know anybody that's ever had a nursery. I've seen it on TV, I've seen it on YouTube, but I've never known anybody to actually have one. So that was something I've always wanted to do and my husband and I did it and I thought it was just so much fun and I was like, oh my god, I really want to share that stuff with somebody or with you guys, obviously. I'm actually just going to do like tours of a couple other rooms there's not much going on in my house we've pretty much kept it plain jane because we don't want to make this our home because you know it's not our forever home this is just a place where we're living at the moment but i was refusing not to do anything in my daughter's room i said i have to do something in her room so this is actually her second nursery her first nursery um didn't get very far because not long after we finished painting the room and put a chair in there they were like hey you guys are going elsewhere and this is the place where we picked to go i wish i would have recorded everything but i know where i got everything i know how much everything cost and i actually did a couple things there myself with the help of looking through marketplace on facebook so you could do a lot other things that i want to do is the process of 
my little one's nursery, the one that's in my belly at the moment. I want to go through the process with you guys. I want to show you what it looks like now. So right now it's actually a guest bedroom. I want to show you guys how I do that and you know the things I use and everything like that. Other little things is just like decorating my home or a couple little recipes that I know. I am not a cook. No, I'm not. But um, you know, I eat. <laughs> so I also have a lot of little projects that I've been wanting to do not to give too much I guess but for example I want to do a scarecrow this fall and I know it's getting really close so I need to get to it my little one's like I said a year old and she's learning English and Spanish so it's a little bit more difficult for her to learn new words I guess or I don't know that's what I think so I actually have a learning binder document already set up I did this a couple weeks ago and I just needed a well, actually, I printed it out already, but I want to set everything up and show you guys what I did, how I did it, what I used. Also, my little one is a year old, so she is no longer drinking any formula, no breast milk or anything like that. So she is now eating table food. And it's very difficult for us because she is a very picky eater, and I believe that's probably my fault. I think I started too late. I don't have the support that I wish I had. You know, first time mom, my husband, first time dad, of course, and we don't have family around. I feel like if my family was around, they'll probably be feeding my baby everything and anywhere, anytime. And I slacked off and well, I, I guess I slowed it down a bit. And she's very picky when it comes to eating, so she's having a hard time. And she has, you know, she has eight teeth, two on the way. Her little choppers in the back so 10 you know 10 teeth and she's still having issues well i guess another little thing would be like a little journey of that um if you will it would be you know things i give her what i did to get her to eat so that that's also some things that i want to include in this channel and other things would be life as a stay at home mom not so much about the blogging because i don't want to bore you guys i don't know if that's really what you want i think i would ask you as we go what things you want to watch we'll see i want to say i want to target stay at home moms but honestly, I don't know who I'm gonna target. I used to watch videos of stay-at-home moms way before I was even married, so anybody can click on this channel, I'm okay with that. What do I hope to achieve with my channel? So I hope to inspire others. I would be very bored many times when I had just started, you know, staying at home because it was just new to me, you know, I was pregnant, so I, I wasn't taking care of a little one. I had my two fur babies, but it wasn't the same and I was sleeping most of the time and I don't know I felt like I just needed something and needing that something you know I turned to YouTube and I just watched a whole bunch of videos and I remember my husband will go to work and then sometimes come home and something else will be in the house or there'll be bags in the corner that I need to get to and um I, I hope I inspire you guys I really do any which way I can I really hope I can inspire you guys so who inspired me in other channels? What other channels inspired me? I have two favorite favorites and then one is recent. So Love Meg, I've been following her on YouTube for the longest. She's just, oh, she's amazing. She does these cleaning motivation videos and I put like a whole playlist of just her cleaning while I'm cleaning and it's really inspiring. I'm not gonna lie, I don't love cleaning all the time but I do it because I have to. And it's just, it's fun listening to her music that she puts on, her talking. I don't know, it's it's motivating and soothing at the same time and calming and relaxing even though I'm cleaning. And it gets me going, so. She's one of the YouTubers that I follow that I really enjoy watching. Also another one, Alexander Buter. I've been following her for almost a year. Um, oh, this girl, she's just amazing. I just really love watching all her fashion tips and all her hauls and her decorating ideas and then obviously she's currently well I can't say obviously if you know who she is she's pregnant at the time even before I found out I was pregnant I just loved watching her videos because they were just so awesome she also does cleaning videos so that's really nice too and I love her home oh my god her home is like it's girly but it's it's beautiful. My husband would never go for that. And lastly, her name is Sochi, and um, I actually just met her a couple weeks ago, and I met her at a baby shower here on post. It was just a baby shower thrown by the USO. If anybody is military on here, you know what the USO is. The author from What to Expect, she came and 
she was giving us a lot of advice. It was there was a book signing. She also gave us a little bit of knickknacks. Uh, she partnered with Target. They gave us a gift card, and you know I I was lucky enough to sit next to her, and she just she was awesome. I felt like we clicked. I don't know. We'll see. She has a YouTube channel. It looks like a year is more of the consistency, and wow, she just got this vibe, this vibrance. I don't know. I really enjoyed her company so girl if you're watching this thank you so much because meeting you is what really got me to make this video so random questions here am i a dog person or am i a cat person i am a dog person i don't mind cats i would i would never want to have a cat of my own am i a good cook i can follow a recipe almost to the T, I i would say last year for thanksgiving my husband and i decided to just go crazy on thanksgiving dinner it was just for for us too we looked up what we wanted to do we made sure we had all the ingredients we had every recipe that we needed and yeah we just did it on, on our own everything from scratch and i think it came out pretty good i would say the turkey on one side needed a little bit more time in the in the oven but other than that it was awesome do i have a best friend yes i do her name is myra and we've been best friends since we're both freshmen yes yeah at the time she bumped up i was 14 so we have been friends for 11 years i think that has been the longest relationship i've had um as in friendship that i still talk to it's not as often now i feel like after i had my daughter it was just different and then with school honestly even communicating with my own mom has slowed down and i'm sorry mom whenever you're watching this i'm sorry don't hate me how many states have i been to and which ones right okay so um i'm from texas of texas um when i was really young i went to florida so that's another uh, i've been to south carolina georgia north carolina i'm in new york right now i've been to california i've been to missouri mm, i've been to oklahoma i've been to illinois and i think those are the only states i've been to that i've actually spent time in obviously i've stayed at a hotel in some other states as i was on a road trip but i didn't actually spend much time there so i'm not counting those how many countries have i been to well obviously the u.s mexico and canada what was my favorite subject in high school i have two i would say math and english my least favorite subject always 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 will be history i am terrible at remembering things that never change apparently i remember one time we had this test my teacher i'm not even kidding she messed with us so bad there was 40 questions on the test 20 of them were b and 20 of them were c i had six sacks going across that scantron like crazy yeah i really suck at history <laughs> Have I done any sports in high school or did I? Yes, I did do sports in high school. Um, I was in soccer, I was in volleyball, I did track and I did cross country. I didn't do much cross country. I think I only did it for a year or two, I can't remember. But mainly soccer and volleyball. Did I graduate from high school? Yes, I graduated in 2012. Um, it's been a while, I should have graduated from college by now, but I didn't. I changed my major three times. I actually started with um, education, you know, I wanted to become a teacher and then I felt frozen and I just didn't do it and I took a break and then I started again and I was going for English right before I was almost done. I was like, this is not what I want to do and I switched it up and now I am majoring in psychology and you know, funny thing when i was younger and even in high school and even in my freshman year i said i wanted to major in psychology and you know i don't know why i didn't go for it in the first place i really love it and that's what i'm doing right now and i was supposed to be done spring of next year but baby will be coming during that time so i'm gonna need to take another little break only while i get adjusted again what is the craziest thing I've ever done? I would say skydiving. I went skydiving with my friend George uh, back in 2015. What is my favorite childhood memory? I talk about this one very often with my husband. I remember sleeping over at my uncle's house. My two closest cousins, Hector and Mary Lou, we used to sleep so late doing the silliest things. I remember we would play, you know, late at night that we were having nightmares. 
we'll you know fall asleep pretend like we're sleeping actually and my cousin Hector would be Freddy Krueger you know how you fall asleep you dream about Freddy Krueger I know that's probably not great for kids to worry but we love those movies and last one is playing around the trampoline we would pretend that our older cousins Hector and my cousin Francisco they would be the bulls and we made this oh, I don't even know how to say it in English un corral you know uh, around the trampoline and that was the area where the where the bulls would line up and then um, the bull rider el jinete he would be or she because you know most of the girls were the ones that were riding on the bulls i'll hop on their backs and then they'll pretend they will like go out crazy like this we would record all of these things i wish we had the footage i don't know what happened to it what is my favorite fairy tale i feel like my fairy tale changes a lot since i met my husband i've had this fairy tale dream that we would be getting married in our dream home in our backyard we have set up this little altar you know flowers all around it that just that has always been my dream since i've met him but i am catholic and i've always wanted to get married in the church obviously under the eyes of god but family is very far and it's just easier for us two to travel than them travel one day we'll do that hi guys very quickly i just wanted to thank you so much for clicking on my video i hope that you just enjoyed it i hope you stick around please subscribe and just keep watching my videos i would appreciate the support and you can follow me on instagram and twitter i am very new at twitter so i don't know how much that's gonna go you'll get to see more of me there i hope to see you in the next video